All right, let's talk about your wet start to the week. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti is joining me now with all the details we need to know about. We need this rain, so it's mm -hmm. a good thing, mm -hmm. but expect tomorrow to grab a jacket. Don't grab your umbrella. Grab your umbrella. I, I'm conflicted on this. You know what? If there's a day to grab your umbrella, tomorrow. It, it's tomorrow. <laughs> Today was damp. Tomorrow is wet. Yeah. We are really going to be kicking that rain into gear. Today was just a, a easy taste of what's to come. But let's take a wide look first. I think this is important to understand uh, the next couple of days, why and where we're going to see rain. So we have this low that is just over us, uh, just over the Pacific right now into tomorrow morning that is going to push toward us that is going to bring widespread rain mostly in the first half of tomorrow but even into tomorrow afternoon so then that will clear and as that pushes to the east this sets up this is an atmospheric river you can see that stream of moisture heading toward the northwest that is going to keep rain after tomorrow into Tuesday and Wednesday, but that is going to favor the north. So as we head into midweek, northern areas will see stronger rain, but down south you actually could stay pretty dry. So let's take a closer look at this. Tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. Olympic Peninsula, get ready. Early morning drivers tomorrow, it will be wet out there. That pushes in during those late morning hours. So this is 8 a.m. right here. We see moderate rainfall around Central Sound over the Olympic Peninsula over the coast. It could certainly be sticky out there. Please be cautious on the roadways during those morning commute hours. It starts to taper off as we head into our daytime hours. This is early evening here and you see a lot of that moisture has pushed east of Puget Sound. So if you're traveling east of Puget Sound in the evening, be ready for that. But then we'll get a little bit of a break as we head into Tuesday morning. The next push for rain arrives. It's pretty light for us as we look widespread at western Washington. But then as we progress into to our afternoon and evening hours Tuesday, and this carries over into Wednesday as well. You notice strong rainfall up to the north, but down south likely won't feel very many impacts at all. So rainfall totals for tomorrow over the coast, definitely looking at more than an inch of rain for most, could even be close to two inches of rain. Around the sound, we'll likely average around a quarter to half an inch of rain into tomorrow. Winds will pick up tomorrow as well. It's going to be blustery out there. Gusts up to 30, maybe 35 miles per hour for isolated areas up to the north over the coast as well. So it's going to be gusty out there. So rain is going to favor uh, our morning hours and then taper off into the evening. Same thing around Seattle. Get ready for a gray day. Temperatures staying cool. We are in the 60s through most of our daytime hours for tomorrow. Seven day forecast shows that we are going to see cooler temperatures, wet conditions for the first half of the week. But look at that Thursday, Friday, we catch a break. We're actually nearing the 70s for that part. All right.